to the vlog. Now I mentioned last time that I'm going to be doing some special vlogs and so this week is a special vlog uh, looking at one aspect of writing and so what I'm talking about this week is the importance of finishing. So the importance of writing the end on something that you've finished. Now it seems crazy to say but very often the hardest thing to do as a writer is actually finish something. You can have the best idea in the world and you're really excited about it and then when it comes to it there's just something that stops you from finishing and it's probably fear um, because the moment you finish something then you have to do something with it while ever it's kind of three quarters done or even you know it's sort of it's a 90% done you still don't have to do anything with it and uh, I'm speaking from experience I am the world's worst finisher the only reason that I actually ever finished writing a book um, was when I was asked to finish the manuscript for Coffee at Kowalski's which many of you know is what became uh, Fairy Tale of New York because um, the publisher asked to read the whole manuscript and the whole manuscript didn't exist at that point uh, and so I sat up for three days and three nights and I wrote 20,000 words and I finished the novel or so I thought uh, and then spent the next year finishing it again about eight times between different uh, very various edits of it and all that kind of stuff um, but I think what held me back for years and years and years was fear it took me the best part, I put on Twitter the other day actually that that it's 16 years since I first started writing that story. In 1999, I started writing what became Fairy Tale of New York. Um, and it took me so long to finish it, I think because I was just scared. I was scared that once it was finished, I'd have this book and I'd have to then do something with it. Um, I think another thing that can hold us back is that we can talk ourselves out of writing it. We think we're not very good. We think that no one's going to take us seriously. Uh, we think that the story's not very good. It starts to get difficult because that initial enthusiasm I find lasts till about 23,000 words in to 100,000 word novel. And then I've said this when I've done Write Foxy Days that around 29,000 words, around 59,000 words, and around about 85,000 words are three points in a novel where I will suddenly go this is like wading through treacle it's really hard um, and I've come to recognize that if I go well, why am I feeling like this oh yes it's because I'm I'm at these key points in the book um, why should you finish writing your novel particularly if you haven't got a deadline um, I like the idea of writing without deadlines but I'm better when somebody says to me I need this for a certain date because then it makes me work um, if you are waiting to be published and you're not published yet, you might not have a deadline. So why should you finish what you're writing? Well, here's a question. And this is something that I kind of, I use to sort of keep myself going. If I don't finish this now, how do I know what it could achieve? If I don't finish this now, how many people that could have read my story won't read it? How many doors that might have opened with this story won't open. How many uh, opportunities to define myself as a writer won't come about because I don't have a complete manuscript. And I meet uh, writers all the time who say, oh it's okay, I've written the first few chapters and I've sent them off to an agent. Let me tell you something, you don't know your novel, you don't know the story until you've written the end. Very often your characters will change through a first draft and by the time you get to the end you know who they are, you know the outline of your story, you know what it feels like and the things that you want to work on when you come to edit it. So if you've only written the first three chapters of something and you're sending it off to agents or you're sending it to publishers, do you know what? You don't know your book. So when they turn around and say, well tell me what your book's about, you might not have all the answers. So are you willing to take the risk that people won't hear your words? that the story that's been burning in your heart won't be shared with people. That scares me. When I say that, that I actually feel scared. And so that's what I use to keep myself going. I think, well, if I don't try, I'll never know. Um, and it was, what, it was that that really got me sharing my writing, got me telling people about what I was doing. And now I can call it my career. And if it happened for me, it can happen for you. 
So here's my challenge, writers out there. Finish what you're writing and enjoy the first draft. The first draft is before you have to worry about whether things are working or not. You just get all the bones of the story down. You enjoy the thrill ride. You're telling yourself the story. Um, just enjoy all of that and then come back and edit it. But get to the point where you, fin where you write the end. And even if the only person that ever reads it in the world is you, I guarantee writing the end of, of, the, of the first draft of a novel, completing a novel length piece of work, is the biggest thrill. And why would you deny yourself that biggest thrill? All that happens is you end up with five or six different uh, sort of novel ideas that really aren't proper stories. And, and you feel really frustrated because you can't finish anything. I dare you to finish something. I hope that's been a help. Um, that's what I used to keep me going. Um, and I hope that helps. And like I say, if there's anything that you want me to talk about in these special vlogs, you know what to do. You can tweet me at Wordsmith. You can send me an email, mirandawordy at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Facebook, Miranda Dickinson Author. Or you can put a comment underneath this vlog. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>